Welcome to the Locobot Quick Start Guide. We will go over everything you need to know in order to get your Locobot up and running smoothly. Before we begin, check the description for the three links associated with this video. We recommend keeping them open as a reference for various terminal commands as you follow along with the video guide. First, we need to assemble the hardware. Take all of the components out of the box, unwrap them and lay them out in your workspace. Start by removing the cradle plate by unbolting the four M5 by 12 bolts. Take four more M5 by 12 bolts and dip them into the turbo fuse. Using these bolts, bolt the 320 millimeter bars onto the cradle plate. Flip the cradle plate right side up and bolt it back onto the robot base. Again, make sure to use turbo fuse on the bolts. If the braided 3-pin Dynamixel cable isn't already connected, plug it into the pan servo. Plug the 500mm cable into the pan servo. Bolt the camera plate onto the top of the stand as shown using 4 M5 by 12 bolts and turbo fuse. Next, Run the 3-pin cable along the bar using two clips and plug it into the hub. Now, run the camera USB cable as shown using two clips. Plug the camera USB into the nook. Using the sticky backed cable clip, secure the USB cable under the camera top plate. Next, Grab the two gripper sides and cut a portion of the included foam to fit the gripper. Peel the backing off and stick the foam to the gripper. Screw the gripper into the end of the arm using four M2 by 14 screws. Connect a mouse, HDMI monitor and keyboard to the Locobot. If you don't have a USB hub, feel free to temporarily unplug the Kabuki base or the USB cable going to the U2-D2 during the installation. The real sense camera must stay plugged in to the computer. Start by powering on the Kabuki base. A green light should appear on the base. A yellow light indicates that the base needs charging. Now, turn on the battery located underneath the Intel nook by pressing and holding the circular power button. Hold the button until the four white LEDs appear. If only one of the four LEDs turn on, the battery must be charged. Next, turn the nook on by pressing its power button. A red light will show up on the U2-D2. This verifies that it is receiving power from the nook. With the Locobot powered on, a login screen should appear on your monitor. The username and password are both Locobot. Hit enter. Next, connect to the internet and open up a terminal. Navigate to this URL. Download the installation script. Run this script to install everything required for Locobot operation. This installation will take approximately 30 minutes. Once the installation is complete, log out and log back in. Disconnect the monitor, keyboard and mouse and reconnect the U2-D2 and Kabuki base if you unplug them. Secure shell into the Locobot from your personal computer by typing this command and following the prompts. The password is Locobot. Next, type gnome-terminal ampersand to bring up the GNOME Terminal GUI on your computer. This will allow you to open up as many terminal tabs as you want without having to secure shell every time. In a terminal tab, run this launch file. Assuming everything was set up correctly, you will see text populating the terminal. Wait until the last message, which will be green, appears. Besides one warning about the lack of camera calibration, no red error messages should show up. Two messages will also show up in yellow, saying will publish and head tilt link to camera link. This is expected and nothing to worry about. 
Sometimes, another error message saying Kabuki malformed sub payload detected will appear. This is also nothing to worry about. With the previous launch file still running, open up a new terminal tab and run this command. Finally, open up another terminal tab and type this to source your Python virtual environment. In order to calibrate the camera, you should adhere to the following instructions taken from the PyRobot website. Change your directory to where the calibration scripts are located. Now, run the collect calibration data script as shown. This should take roughly 10 minutes. Make sure to keep the Locobot surroundings clear of any obstacles as the camera and arm will be moving around. Run the solve for calibration parameters script as shown. This will also take roughly 10 minutes. One last thing, for easy debugging of the Dynamixel servos, check out the Dynamixel Wizard 2.0 tool in the description. With it, you should be able to reference every servo register for all motors. And that's that, you are now ready to begin learning and exploring with your Locobot.